Hello and welcome all signs. So this is going to be your reading where we're going to take a look at uh, well, what's going on here. We're going to take a look at you, a little bit what you are focusing on, what you, um, some challenges and what the near future may hold. We're going to read with Taro today. Uh, and yeah, make sure to follow and subscribe so you know when I come up with a new reading and thank you all for being here. It means a lot. So let's uh, begin. Aries, so oh, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, whatever comes up. Aries, we'll take a look at a little bit about you, what you're focusing on, and uh, the near future here. So let's see what's going on. What do you? need to know Aries <clears throat> just like you are There is this feeling here, Aries, that it's almost like you are um, counting down the days, like waiting for something to happen. It's like soon I'm going to take action here. I'm going to go for it, but not yet. Soon. Yeah. It's like you are enjoying the moment right now, Aries. This feeling of, because you know, as soon as you start this, as you, as soon as you, well, commit to this, then, um, then you have to go well all in. Aries, and that's why I kind of do see you well pushing it forward, because it's going to take a lot of your time, once you start, and a lot of your dedication here. At least this this feeling of yeah. <clears throat> it's like they're not letting it go too too long, Aries. Sure, you can enjoy your time a little bit. There's a lot of, not a lot, but a little doubt here as well from your part, Aries. You're doubting this. Can This can be why you are, well, delaying it as well. But you do enjoy it. You do care for it. You have love towards it. But still, <coughs> this hesitation with temperance here as well, Aris. Not really, not really daring to go for it, like go all in here. Soon, soon I'm going to do this. Well, that's a <clears throat> Let's take a look at the near future here, Aries. <clears throat> Aries, I would say that you would that would be the best thing for you is to just start doing it start now because here in the near future look at this it's like you will come in here with an uh, well internal battle with yourself like okay now is the time now i have to do this um, but yeah it's almost like you are finding 
some other excuse here, Aris, or, or something happens um, where you need to, well, this feeling of, okay, I need to take a step back and rethink this again. So like you are putting yourself in a, well, as you are right now, Aries, even here in the, in the near future. It can be outside energies as well, outside forces that is, um, <clears throat> well, getting in the way. Why can't I just see it being, well, you are risk being your worst kind of, uh, well, your worst enemy here. You yourself. Almost like a little bit of a fear of failure here. Yeah, so, Aries. <clears throat> Start small. But the important thing is that you will start here. Aries, because this is almost like a cycle, like you are well, waiting for the perfect time or um, telling yourself next week and then next week something else happens. It's like, okay, the week after that I'm going to, and it's, um, yeah, oh, I, I forgot I need this thing. Um, yeah. And with the Knight of Cups here, I do see that you do want this. That this is something that you well care for. So, Aries, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Taurus, so this is going to be your reading. There you go. We're going to take a look at well, what's going on with you. Now a little bit of whatever comes up here, Taurus. I'm going to take a look at you, a little bit your focus in the near future. Let's see. Like something happened here, Taurus. Something that made you take a step back here. Um, yeah, it's like needing to take a step back uh, and trying to fi figure th some things out. But you are feeling quite stuck at this moment. Not sure what your next move shall be. And until you have unlocked that or figured that out, you're just still going to take a step back here. So just you being in, um, well, in thinking mode. Taurus, trying to figure it out. A pleasure died here. Taurus can be a yeah, passion, um, or something that you use to make you happy. Doesn't do it anymore. Hmm. You have that. The sun, uh, well, Knight of Wands and the, and the Ten of Swords here, Taurus, <clears throat> right above it.
Yeah. It's like you taking time to figure this out. Why? Why you're not feeling this way anymore? Why it died out? Well, what? What's your next step will be? If it is a person, um, it is a disappointment from you seeing this feeling that well something that could have been beautiful got ruined um yeah but i do see you taking a step back here taurus at the same time i don't see you i don't see you that that hurt taurus it's more a uh, disappointment here. Yeah. Let's, see. Let's take a look at the near future. It's like more, more upset Taurus. Seeing something, um, seeing something beautiful, uh, well, disappear. <clears throat> or something that could have been, could have been uh, beautiful. Even uh, here in the near future, Taurus, I don't see any second chances. I do see you finding something new. Something new that you will uh, going for the new here, Taurus. But this this chapter here, or this situation here, uh, I kind of do see it being a, a done deal for you. Like, yeah. Like moving moving forward ending this like there's no there's no coming back from this if it is somebody coming for seeking for forgiveness or, or wanting a reconciliation as well um yeah, there's no no going back ah, so Taurus that's why for you thank you and uh, bye Gemini, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, whatever comes up, Gemini. We're going to take a, take a look at you a little bit, what you're focusing on, and then the near future as well. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Gemini. So I do see a lot of good things happening to you and all around you, Gemini, but at the same time, it's almost like you're not letting yourself enjoy it <clears throat> or not, yeah, not daring to, well, embrace this, this uh, good things. Gemini, it's like you're holding back. Because either you are waiting for the next big thing here, uh, Gemini, or you're just not letting yourself enjoy um, enjoy the, the moment. Like as soon as something good happens, 
it's like okay what what's next it's like you are rushing um this process <clears throat> You and I. It's uh it's a little bit of this uh, pursuit of more and this feeling or this entitlement of uh, you deserving more. Because there is happiness here, I do see there is good things here, but you are, it's like you are almost ignoring it or just not appreciating it. You're like, okay, what's next? What, what's more? Oh, yes, not letting yourself, not letting yourself enjoy it. That's it. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> you are here in the near future, Yemen. I do see you working. You your way up but you do have something in in mind here or, or a goal it's like you are checking out the boxes or taking the next step next step next step ne next step here it's like you are claiming claim what's yours Oh, I do think good th good things are happening to you, Gemini, and what well, well, good things are coming as well, better things um, here as well in the near future. Yeah, so this is just you right now, not being satisfied, Gemini, because here I do see the evolution as well, the the transformation of you becoming a little bit more satisfy here with where things are going she is in a she is in a mood yeah so Gemini better things are coming and that's what because of you are making it so you are not quite there yet not quite satisfied what are you what are you showing on no 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 what is this like to uh, uh a pencil made of rubber though Don't that, no. so gemini that's what i had for you thank you and uh bye Cancers! So oh, this is going to be your reading. We're gonna take a look at well a little bit what's going on with you, Cancer. <clears throat> and take a look at you, a little bit what you're focusing on, and uh, in the near future here. So let's see. What's going on? With you. sun in the center here cancer it's always nice it's more you can kind of do see you cancer thinking about the next step 
at this moment okay there's a lot of happiness around you it's uh feeling well satisfied happy it's like you are yeah wondering at this moment what's next for you I kind of do see you being a little bit in between here, Cancer. <clears throat> it's like you are wanting to see or do something here, something that speaks to you, like something that uh, gets you going right away. But you are having some uh, troubles finding it. Cancer. Or in the way, finding it in the way that it, you can take it into your schedule. As well, like I had to fit cancer. Yeah, because I do see you having options there, but at the same time not being able to do to do them. It can be because of the hours or um, the distance, cancer. Yeah, but it's this feeling ready to take on something, something new here, like I'm completely new as well. Let's see. Let's take a look at the. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the near future. This can be as well, cancer as uh, um, like searching for a new job. Something that well, fits you. But it is this feeling here, Cancer, that you have to decide soon. Because right now I do see, well, you having things under control, um, taking your time trying to figure out what it is that you're wanting but here in the near future it's almost like the this feeling of the time is running out that you have to pick something and you just picking something just just because like you're not satisfied with this with this option cancer this is you in the in the near future here um just just picking something and with a four of cups right here. Yeah. Yeah, so. So pick something here, Cancer, something that feels good to you, because right now it's almost like you are looking for the um, the perfect thing. It does look like you have to um, do that in a later moment. Cancer. <clears throat> Yeah, almost like you see uh, this choice here, Cancer. It's almost like you are um, tired yourself out from looking and searching and just picking something here. Like it was almost like in the heat of mo in the heat of the moment, you agreed to something. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, 
Paolo with a little bit of disappointment here. <clears throat> yeah, so it can be that you are just trying different things as well, Cancer, seeing what fits and what doesn't. But it's like the more the more the time goes, the more uh, well, a little bit annoyed you will get and 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 well just picking things because out of uh, yeah, just because so cancer that's what I have for you thank you and uh, bye Leo so there's going to be your reading we're going to take a look at well a little bit what's going on here Leo I'm going to take a look at you a little bit what you're focusing on and the near future let's see we'll take it almost like an outside energy here where Leo is uh, it's almost like you are putting ideas into your mind or something is bringing your energy down here Leo <clears throat> when in reality uh, well it, sh it shouldn't like you are well you do have, you do have the, the Empress here right in the in the middle uh, Leo So you are very comfortable with well, with who you are. Oh, something, something or someone is making you question yourself, your standards, your your principles, you, Leo. Yeah, the page of wands here as well. Like it's getting to you, Leo. can be you as well comparing yourself to someone which is not doing you any good Leo no it's like uh this feeling of being careful of, of who you are letting in and, and as well what you are uh, taking in <clears throat> Leo that's it let's go with the near future here Yeah, this is a more suitable energy for you, Leo. Like knowing who you are, what it is that you are wanting. Um, as we saw here as well. It's like, but here you are not surrounded in the near future by all of this. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if it is a, a, a person that you're dealing with here, Leo. Who's trying to, well, reduce your energy or just... Um, something you are taking in. Yeah, but Leo, can you see you being just fine as well despite this? Um, this is just temporary. I do see you finding your well your groove or your your yeah, your groove back here in the near future. What is it? Okay. Okay. Go. Up. Go. Go. Up. So, Leo, that's bad for you. Um Thank you and bye. Virgo, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what well, what's going on with you, Virgo. Take a look at what well, take a look at you a little bit. What you're focusing on and what the near future here as well. So let's see. Virgo. lot of focus here <clears throat> Virgo and it is this feeling that you it's almost like something or a situation here has pushed pushed you into this because uh, it's like you're not wanting to focus on anything else it's like you only have one thing in on your mind here and you're going all in here towards it Virgo It's like having a goal and, and doing everything it takes to to achieve it and, and to get it. And you're not letting anything or anyone distract you from this either. Yeah, putting all of your energy towards this one thing. And it's with a lot of confidence as well. I don't see you <clears throat> second guessing or, or or believing that this cannot be done. Like this is you knowing that it will well it will get done. You will get this. Yeah. There we go. So a lot of confidence here and uh And you do have the, well, the skill or the knowledge behind it as well to back it up. So this is an, uh, this is an achievable goal that you do have. And you know it as well. Let's see, let's look at the <clears throat> near future here, Virgo. Yeah, no, no distractions here. Like making it, making it happen. And here in the near future as well, Virgo, whatever it is that you are working course of working uh, working to achieve here I do see in the in the near future that you do will have your your pick you will have your options what it is that you are or how you are wanting to well, continue this on and with a 
Ace of Pentacles here as well. It is this feeling of, uh, well, it evolving. The question is in which direction. That's what you will have a little bit of trouble deciding here in the, in the in the future. What which direction you're wanting to take this, which option you're wanting to go towards. But you are getting there. Yeah, so better things are coming here, uh, Virgo. Because you are putting in the work. So, very go. That's what I have for you. Uh, thank you and uh, bye. Libra. So, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, what's going on with you, Libra. We're going to take a look at uh, well, you a little bit, what you are focusing on and what the future may may hold. So, let's see. So do you see a situation here, Libra, where you do have, where you did, where you, you did have a lot of passion towards it. But then after this situation or something happened here, Libra, where you are starting to not enjoy it as much. And it is the <clears throat> can I do see it that it is the how do you say it's like it has nothing new to offer this excitement where you were that you were feeling is like this is this is it like you have explored every area of it and uh, yeah there's there's nothing there's nothing new and that's what's bringing this passion that you had towards it uh, down it's like um, yeah feeling like you have completed it libra yeah and with this because you have you have put in a lot of hour towards this as well so it's something that you are good at libra and that is what's uh, well what is hurting as well because you have put in such a, a lot of hours um, it has been feeling good you have explored but now it's like you are complete um yeah it's like you're starting to feel less and less towards this well whatever it is libra towards this craft so feeling a little bit disappointed and stuck Oli. Let's see, let's take a look at the near future here.
So let me see us doing something here in the near future, Libra. <clears throat> and it is this feeling here that it it is something that you that you know that you shouldn't be doing. It's like you checking out what else is out there. Um, seeing what, well, if it is a craft or, or a job here, Libra, seeing what your uh, skills can. Uh, yeah, it's like checking out what, what what's what's out there. Libra. Yeah, but I kind of do see you feeling done with this, with this uh, current situation here. Like there's nothing else. It's like there's no room more for you to grow here. And you know it as well. Like this is something that you have mastered. It has nothing new to offer. So now it's more like you are well, wasting your time. Yeah, so you're going to see what else is out there, Libra. You might be needing to do it in the dark for a while. Um, especially if this is a job and you do have some, some uh, contract here as well. Yeah, because this, this feeling here will only keep on reducing. We do have the the devil here as well, Libra. Um, yeah. So, Libra, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Scorpio, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to, going to take a look at a little bit what's going on here, Scorpio. We're going to take a look at you, what you are focusing on, and well, the future. Let's see, Scorpio, what's going on? <coughs> Can I do see just going for something here, Scorpio? It is, um, it's almost like you're just following your intuition here, Scorpio. Like your mind and your, well, your body is um, it's disagreeing, Scorpio. Because when you do think about it, Scorpio, it's almost like you do see it as a bad, bad idea. But this is something that you uh, want. Yeah, it's like seeing something as a bad idea, as a mistake, or yeah, so it's like you are shutting down or turning off your 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 mind here, not wanting to think about it and and just just doing so. Yeah, kind of just see just just going for it, Scorpio. <clears throat> So at the same time, it's like you know 
that this is right for you. And despite that your well, others or your mind is, uh, is disagreeing here, there is this feeling, Scorpio, that you are following here. That's it. Let's take a look at the near future. <clears throat> I do see you getting further or far, farther with this Scorpio that you have ever done before because it's almost like you are questioning what now Scorpio it's like you have learned from your mistakes doing something, doing, do, doing it right this time, having success, but then you get to a point here where you, well, it will get a little bit stuck. Scorpio. And depending on which option you take here, um, yeah, you will either have success or, or needing to, well, needing to start over or, or, what have you yeah but i do see you getting further with this this time around scorpio <clears throat> and you will have this uh, this victory to a point yeah. so we have more more decisions to come but this one you see you completing that so Scorpio go with your intuition here yeah but you will have a a new decision to make here in in the, in the near future you will have this with a nine of cups here you will have this uh, this celebration this victory here but then you do have the <clears throat> two of ones and the seven of cups what oops so it's a little bit how can you or what will you do beyond that point Scorpio like that's the question when you reach that point what would you do then having yeah having that in in, in mind so Scorpio that's what I have for you thank you and uh, bye Sagittarius oh this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what's going on Sagittarius <clears throat> gonna take a look at a little bit about you what you're focusing on what the in the near near future here Sagittarius so let's see what's going on lot of 
thinking here. Sagittarius. Like picking the right choice. It's like you do have a, a, a choice here and needing to just pick the right one. Feeling a little bit confused at this moment. We have the two of pentacles and the seven of cups as well. And you right here in the middle. Wrapping your mind around it all. Decisions, decisions. The fear. <clears throat> and I do see this regarding work, Sagittarius. Can be the next step for you. And just wanting to pick the right uh, direction, not wanting to have any regrets or, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of uh, things hanging on this, Sagittarius, this decision. And which will well make you the happiest. I do see you doing the right thing here, taking your time. Um, Sagittarius, to really figure this out, because it's almost like, uh, well, this is going to determine, this choice is going to determine, uh, well, where you end up. And it's this feeling of not wanting to look back and wishing that you would have taken this direction. And at the same time, this is only a. We will take a look at the near future, but this is only a. This is only something that you can answer, Sagittarius. We will see. Let's take a look at the near future. But you all are weighing <clears throat> all the options. There is this feeling, Sagittarius. Because this can be a specific option, or it can be all of them. But it is this kind of the, the option, or, or the... They're speaking loudest to you. That you feel the best that you're wanting to do. Is the one that will, you will have to hurt or sacrifice something. Especially if if you are in a connection right now, Sagittarius, um, you going towards this might mean that you have to break break something up. But I do see an uh, <clears throat> I do see an option that is speaking a little bit louder to you, but it's like you're not wanting to look at it, not really, because that would mean that you will have to. Well, it will start and, uh, well, might be hurting somebody else here by you making this choice, Sagittarius. Yeah. And as I said before, this is a decision that only you can make I do see you having your well your eye on uh, on something here but yeah we do have five of wands and the three of swords Sagittarius it's like not wanting to look at it um, yeah because then you might be hurting somebody that you care for uh, well by distance or, or leaving or what have you 
Yeah, so Sagittarius, that's quite for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Capricorn, so it is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on. What's going on with you, Capricorn? <coughs> I'm going to take a look at, well, you a little bit, what you're focusing on <coughs> and what the future may hold. Let's see. Capricorn. There's this feeling right here, Capricorn, almost like you are um, taking a look at your, well, your past. And in that past, I do see you seeing somebody that, um, well, yourself, seeing yourself as somebody that, well, almost like you are wanting to go back in time, Capricorn. Because back then, it's like you do had things under control. You knew what it is, what it was that you wanted. Yeah. But at the same time, it's almost like this is just a. Uh, temporary thing Capricorn it's like a small look a small peak because right now it's almost like you are well changing or transforming at this moment it's like you are taking good parts of well of your experience can be others as well and like forming yourself like, like that's what you're doing at this moment you are forming your trans uh, transforming at this moment capricorn into becoming somebody that well that you know you can be yeah because things might have not gone your way recently with the uh, nine of wands here right in the middle Capricorn it's almost like this is a a fresh start for you yeah because you're not only looking into the well the good things or the good parts of your of your past you're taking a look at the, the things that well hurt you the most as well capricorn i do see this change of taking that pain uh, uh, and forming it to well to love love towards yourself and love towards uh, appreciation capricorn yeah So right now you might be in a in a cocoon, Capricorn. And that's only because you are making yourself ready here. Now let's see. Let's take a look at the near future. <clears throat> Like you are forming yourself 
<clears throat> yeah, that's cool. And once you are done with this, once you are feeling well prepared, um, when you know what it is that you're wanting, I do see you, well, going for it and achieving it as well. This is the, the feeling of you becoming the, well, the, the, the person that you, well, always knew that you could be. And feeling comfortable. Um, yeah. With yourself. So, Capricorn. That's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Aquarius. So, oh, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at... Well, a little bit what's going on with you Aquarius taking a look at a little bit about you what you are focusing on and what the future may hold so let's see Aquarius It's almost uh, sleeping, standing up. Oh well, that's it. I do see you releasing something here, Aquarius. Knowing that this is despite love, as I do see love here, but despite that, I do see this being like you knowing that this is the best decision for you, like letting this go. Aquarius. And yes, there's going to be pain there. Because there is love. You did care for it. Yeah. But when it's, when it's not working. Well, then sometimes you do have to walk away, Aquarius. And I do see this being a good, um, good decision for your, yeah, the best decision for you at this moment. Then, if you do really care for it, you can always come back and revisit this. But at this moment, this is the, this is the right move for you, Aquarius. Like taking a taking a break, taking a breather. That is so what you need. It's almost like you have been going at it in many different ways, Aquarius, but at the same time not really getting anywhere, like hitting the same kind of wall all the time. It's like nope. I'm going to go and focus on something else. Uh if you come back to this or not only time will tell but yeah if you do want to see the cards Aquarius uh, five of 
five of pentacles ten of swords and eight of cups here this is you walking away from well this this pain right here <clears throat> and I do have what well, nine of cups, the the moon and the knight of cups here. So you did care for it, you do care for it, Aquarius. And there is well, love behind it. But when it's not working, it's just not working. And this feeling that you're not getting anywhere here. Uh, you are you are hitting a wall let's see let's take a look at the near future here Aquarius near future Aquarius like going from all of this well pain uh, and burden here Aquarius it's like in the near future will not have as much of a burden Aquarius it's like the, the only burden you will have here is where you where you should put your well focus on like your your happiness yeah so I do see that good things or better things are coming for you Aquarius um yes have to figure out what it is that you're wanting here and then going for it yeah but I do see that this really does need to uh really does need a, a break here from all of this <clears throat> like this is not doing you any good we're just feeling this way yeah so Aquarius I do see that this happiness is coming uh, you just have to well, figure out what it is that will make you happy and yeah, then just go for it here <clears throat> so that's what I had for you Aquarius thank you and uh, bye Pisces oh this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at uh, what's going on Pisces let's see <clears throat> I'm gonna take a look at you Pisces a little bit what you are well, focusing on right now and what the future may hold It's this feeling here, Pisces, is almost like it is like getting getting what you want but not in the way you wanted it we will see
it's almost this this feeling of the the chase Pisces was more exciting than the than the prize or the yeah the prize Pisces Yeah. It's like that that feeling by it's like you entering some sort of competition here and the competition was great but now when that, when you are victorious it's uh, it's a little bit like oh I really did enjoy the the chase or the the the, the hunt here. Um Yeah, cuz this this victory doesn't uh, I wouldn't say that this is not something that you wanted, but it doesn't feel as good, Pisces. Yeah, a little bit of this, uh, the, the thrill of the, the chase here that you were after or uh, missing, Pisces. It's like you're missing it. Let's see, let's take a look at the near future. What's going on, Pisces? Because I do see you fighting for something here. When you do get it, Pisces, when you do achieve this, there is happiness, but it, it will it is this missing of the the chase of you going through all of this to get this. Um, and here in the near future, it's almost like you are <coughs> well self sabotaging a little bit. To make you go, okay, I'm ready again. Pisces. Like wanting to start over. Now if this is this. Like go doing this again. Or dismissing this and going towards, well, something new. But starting over. Yeah, it's almost like you're wanting to. A little bit of self sabotage here, Pisces, so you can start over. Pisces. Can be different challenges, Pisces, that you are putting yourself through to see how well you will do them. Because um, I, I, as I said before, I don't see you viewing the the prize <coughs> as the well the the big thing. It's more the experience throughout it that you are craving uh, the chase here, Pisces, that you are wanting to do to do. Even here in the near future, it's like you are not feeling satisfied until you are on the well on the on the start line here. Of well, let's do it again. Yeah. So, well, Pisces was a little bit different reading a little bit weird um yeah maybe it will resonate with some of you
Uh, and if it didn't feel free to come back next week and and maybe it will then um but yeah that's what i have for you thank you and uh bye